What's cracking YouTube? My name is Brody and welcome to another Pokemon Traded Card Game opening and today we're back with a Curum EX Spring 2012 tin. Okay, so last last week I opened up the Zephrom uh, EX tin and that is a part of the trio. So this is the second tin of the trio. As you can see we have Reshiram on the side there, we got Curum on the bottom and then Zephrom on the side. And then as you can see on the back here, we have the trio just chilling there. Uh, that is what we'll get in today's tin. Feel free to pause and have a read of that if you'd like. Um, but it says, Exciting Pokemon with exceptional power in the Pokemon TCG EX tin. So yeah, so um, we'll just have a chat while I bust off this shrink wrap. But yeah, it also says on the sticker there um, what we're going to get as well. Which is nice of them to tell you while they're on the shelves and all that sort of stuff at the shops. But yeah, so this is what the tin looks like without the shrink wrap. I do love the, at the top here, you probably can't really see it on the camera there. But at the top here, it's got the, like, faded curum. But yeah, it looks, it looks pretty cool. I do like that. My first impressions, this is what it looks like when you initially bust into the tin. So let's get this promo out. And let's have a quick look at that. So it's Curum EX, it has Frozen Wings and um, Hail Blizzard, 180 HP. But yeah, so what's that? Black and White Promo 37. So let's just put that down there for now. And let's get the rest of the contents out of this. So you get the, got the code card, the nice design on these older code cards, where they've actually like got the featured Pokemon there and stuff. Awesome. Looks nice. I'm going to keep that one for myself. But um, we got these booster packs here. The Awesome, awesome range of boost packs. We've got the Terrakion pack art from Dragon Exalted, uh, Keldeo pack art from Boundaries Cross. Uh, we got uh, Mind Blank, Mind Blank Palkia <laughs> from Plasma Blast. That was so bad. Huge Mind Blank. But we got and Mewtwo from Legendary Treasures. So we're gonna open it in from Legendary Treasures back to uh, Dragon's Exalted, just like we did in the Zekrom EX tin that I did last week. I'll be sure to leave a link to that one in the, des the description of the video. But let's get this all set up and looking pretty for this opening. So we've got the nice code card there and we'll have Curum featured right in the center. Just there. Cool. Let's knock that down a smidge. And let's go. So we're going to be cracking into Mewtwo from Legendary Treasures. So if you guys have not seen my Zekrom EX tin opening from this trio, um, the poles were just, they were there, and they were good. So I'll just leave it at that, so um, be sure to go check that one out in the description of the video. There's the code, first in best dress, make sure you subscribe and you have uh, notifications set up so you you can be alerted when um, I upload, so you can be first in best dress for these codes. But yeah, we're, we're, gonna, we're going to do 3 and 2 for this uh, Legendary Treasures pack, so the pulls will be very scattered. So we should get one now. Yeah, there we go. So we got a Zoroark Hollow. I definitely called that one. Awesome looking Hollow. Shout out to N from the Pokemon Evolutionaries. And this is your bay. But yeah, it has Brutal Bash and Dark Rush. Then we have an Elsa. So that one is a Radiant Collection. Radiant Collection card, you can see the stars kind of like there-ish. But yeah, let's keep going. We've got Swadloon, Charmeleon, Fiona is a regular rare, and then our Radiant Collection Uncommon or EX is a Chinchino. Chinchino. So it's got the, it's just an uncommon Radiant Collection card, but it has that awesome looking like pattern you can see there. It's got the love hearts, the lines going down. And then it's just got that nice kind of sparkle that you can see there, so yeah. Lots of appreciation for the Radiant Collection. It was nice of them to have like a subset inside of a main set. So it's RC19 out of 25, and as you can see, the Legendary Treasure set is out of 113. So yeah, nice regular Ethion, and then the Uncommon Chinchino. But we did pull that holo from the, holo from the first pack. So Legendary Treasure's coming through once again. Once again. And Zoroark probably would be one of the pulls that I'd be looking to get out of the... Out of all the hollows in, in Legendary Treasures. But there we go, there's the code for you guys. And one, two. 
And let's see what Plasma Blast can bring to the table. So let's knock this down just a smidge more. There we go. Nice. Solosis, Drifloon, Houndour, Ducklet, Snowrunt, a Relicant, Plume Fossil, we got Shellgon, a Reverse Rare Axelgore, nice, and an Escavalier Regular Rare. So we got some plasma goodness happening here. Don't know this look, look cool with the little um, plasma shield there. I think that's a nice little touch that they um they added to these um, plasma sets. But yeah, reverse rare, regular rare. So let's throw the reverse rare out the back here. And then that one there. And let's see what Brand Boundaries Cross can do for us today. So we got the Cario pack up. And I do know that there is a Cel Celebi full art in this set that I would love to pull. It isn't the most expensive card in the set, but it is definitely a nice looking card. Even just the regular EX is a very nice looking card too. But I, I don't know, let's see what we can do. What an awesome looking Patrat art. I love how there's like the three Patrats, that looks sweet. Um, <laughs> can't group it. We got Makuhita, Trap Inch, Duskull. Ooh, that is a nice looking art as well. Duskull looks so deep, like, so evil there. Pidove, Lopunny, Mianxiao, Farfetch'd. A Psyduck uh, reverse common. Shout out to the Poke Capital. I know that's one of your favorite Pokemon. And a Golduck regular rare. Okay, nice. So we got the evolutions happening here today. Not even bad. Not even bad. So this Golduck has Amnesia and Aqua Fall. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And now we're on to Dragon's Exalted, so we're on the hunt for the uh, Ho-Oh EX full art. That is the goal. Actually, just any pull out of Dragon's Exalted would be would be pretty crazy. But here's the code. I hope you, hopefully you guys are getting some nice pulls out of these codes. But let's see what we can do. See how we can end this opening off today. So we have a Sphiel. Feebas. Dino. We got Time Pole, we got Gibble, Lairon, got the Reader, Bipperel, we got an Odino, which is an uncommon with Wake Up Beam and Drain Slap. And then our rare in the pack is a Marowak regular rare. So not the best tin I've opened, so nothing in comparison to my Zekron tin that I opened last week, but not a bad tin at all. So it has Bone Lock and Vortex Chop. So let's just have a quick little recap here. Nothing, nothing too crazy today. But still a very fun tin to open. The range of the packs is just awesome. So we got an Axagor, just a reverse rare. We got the Zoroark Hollow from Legendary Treasures. And then of course we have the featured promo Curum EX. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this Zoroark art. I think it looks pretty good. Like, this is definitely one of the um, hollows that I'd prefer to uh, pull from Legendary Treasures, just purely based off the art. But yeah, let me know in the comment section, um, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of it. Uh, be sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoy my openings, uh, and sub subscribe to my channel as well if you enjoy my openings. Thanks for watching, you guys. Peace.